Can I do a video with you? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so, so, what do you show here? So we are a company called XL8. We do AI machine translation. We offer offline tools for uh, translators or translation companies that requires any transcription or translation of video. Now we also extended that solution to real-time world. So we are offering live subtitling, which actually takes a live stream and then as subtitles back, people can watch the live shows or TV or sports with subtitles now. And now what we are showcasing here is actually a Zoom application where you can actually... Can go next to the TV here? Yeah. And uh, so this is Zoom? Yeah, this is Zoom, right? And this is actually part of Zoom, so you can actually watch the uh, app. So if you go to the app button from the Zoom, this is actually a plug-in in there, so you can actually sit down virtually with your colleagues or friends speaking different languages than you and then you can now understand what they are saying in your own language. Is this AI? AI. It's automatic. automatic. You don't have somebody sitting in an office somewhere right. and typing. We actually have someone uh, here in the cabinet. In the box. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. And, uh, they support, like, they have an API with, with the plugins on the Zoom. What about apps that don't have it, like YouTube? I'm live streaming on YouTube right now. Oh, so we have a, so no, with uh, YouTube, you can actually export the stream into RTMP or HLS format. I believe RTMP is supported. So we actually take RTMP and live subtitles, and then you can, can stream with the RTMP as well. So you can uh, put, the, put the X, uh, what do you call it? XL8. XL8. XL8? Yeah. But you put the RTMP in XL8 uh -huh. and then you output back to YouTube? Yeah, exactly. And you put the subtitles hard coded in the video? Or yeah, yeah. You put it so like for RTMP, we kind of burn that into the video so you can actually watch it with the subtitle. Wow. For HLS, we embed the subtitle uh, text so actually the player can actually choose what language you're, you're going to watch. So you can, because YouTube supports text subtitles also. Does it work for live? Uh, no, I think you know, what you're mentioning is like the captions embedded in the video. So uh, what we actually offer with the MediaCat, which is an offline translator platform, you can input your YouTube URL, and then we download the video internally, and then transcribe, and then translate, and then you can sub download the subtitle and upload to YouTube. So that's how you can embed the captions there. That's nice. Uh, that's awesome for people who do video chat in different languages. Uh -huh. And yeah. they can understand each other. Sure. So you sell this to the United Nations? Uh, well, no, we are not actually offering that much accuracy. You know, in United, at UN meetings, you know, nothing can be wrong. But it, this is more casual. And also business casual is something that we're kind of targeting. So now think about it. Now you can do business with a lot more people previously you wouldn't be able to communicate with because of the language barrier. Now you can make much more, many more friends globally, right, with this platform. One time I did a video with the NVIDIA and they talked, they talked to me about um, potentially changing the mouth and uh, making them speak the other language. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about that? So, well, that part is actually uh, two things. One is kind of translation, of course, and then maybe speech generation. And the other part is actually, you know, modulating the video so that actually you, your lip looks like what you, you know, the language you're you know, listening there. Is that uh, next step for you? Yeah, kind of like things we can actually do. We actually support dubbing. So one of the, you know, part of the solution will be, kind of one of the features can be that one as well. Yeah. So you need to make it sound with the voice of the, the user. Yeah. So yeah. suddenly they can speak Korean. Exactly. But they just speak English yeah, in the machine. Exactly. For now, we only op uh, offer a kind of speech synthesis, but it's not really based on your own voice. But later, we can probably utilize your own voice for another language, and then later, we can modulate your videos as well. Uh, how about when is it going to be perfect? How long time well, does it take before well, because, you have perfect? No, it, de it depends on how you define um, perfect, right? Because well, when we had like two years ago, we already have a live event for fan meetings. And then they say this is perfect. This is very good for their fan meetings because their fan base were watching these fan meetings even without understanding what's going on. And then now they were able to see and read what's going on with the subtitles, right? But you no, know, when we apply this to, for instance, UN meetings, you know, it's not going to be perfect, of course. So I think in terms of like you know, uh, the, the bar, most of the general public will think this is perfect. 
this will take more than three years, somewhere between three to five years. But every day the technology is advancing, so I think we're going to see major leaps every year, six months. How good is it from English to Korean? Well, English Korean is pretty good, so people can understand English content in Korean. The other way is a little bit more trickier because uh, Korean is such a kind of subtle language, so it omits a lot of like subjects or objects. So translating is like a little bit more difficult that way. And do you connect into some kind of open open source kind of uh, translation system, or you create the whole AI in your startup? Oh well, we have many things we have created, but everything is on the shoulder of giants, right? So. Even Transformer is based on many previous research and products. And I believe every single translation company, machine translation company these days, is utilizing somehow the Transformer platform Google released. So it's the same. No, we are kind of like 30 to 40% of the code uh, modified or extended by us, but it's still based on the same platform. So you might be using Google or the Bing or something? Not directly Google. Uh, not directly uh, being or anything. It's uh, it's open source platform that we are extending. Everyone is extending for their own purposes. We have developed this in so much into the directions of uh, media localization. So our translation quality is very good for media content localization, translation, those kind of things. Nice. That's awesome. Sure. Thanks a lot. Uh, this is where the video is going. Okay. Do you have some uh, 